Hi, I'm Corey Basaraba, and I have to say it's a little weird for me to be talking to you here in front of the camera. You've probably never heard of me. I'm not a guru or anything. I'm not even here to talk about myself, but something happened that's encouraged me to come out from behind my desk and talk to you face to face. So the reason I'm here on camera, surrounded by lights, is to talk about a man named Stuart Lichtman. Stuart Lichtman is not a well-known guru. He's not on the speaking circuit. He hasn't written dozens of books. But what he has is an amazing process that takes people from a place of having a goal to achieving that goal every single time. So let me stop right there for a moment and acknowledge that it sounds crazy. And I, re I realize it sounds crazy. I don't expect you to believe me. What I want to do is open up a little door in your mind that maybe this is possible. In this video series, I'm going to reveal the real reason why the law of attraction and goal setting utterly fail for most people. This is new information you may have suspected has been left out of other personal development programs, either innocently or on purpose. The fact is information has been left out. And what you'll quickly realize is these vital facts dramatically increase your chances of future success and help you avoid failure and disappointment when you set out to achieve your next goal. You're going to learn what it takes to finally become a super attractor, a magnet for abundance, health, romance, wisdom, and energy. Someone your friends will whisper about as being the luckiest person they know. I'm also going to share with you the astonishing goal-achieving secret discovered by an eccentric genius named Stuart Lichtman. A man you've probably never heard of, but who has refined and perfected this technique to the point where now it has a 100% success rate in helping people achieve their goals. You'll discover how his unique breakthrough can have you reaching even your most seemingly impossible desires with clockwork consistency. If you have a dream you want to achieve, whether it's to quit your job, to travel, to support your family, to live without the stress and worry of paying the bills, or to write a novel, help people in third world countries, or just find peace and contentment, this could be the most important video you ever watch. Here's why I say that. It has to do with people letting their dreams die when they don't need to. So a couple years ago, I was listening to a set of tapes by Dr. Wayne Dyer. If you've never heard of Wayne Dyer, he's, he's an amazing guy. And what he said on these tapes was, what a shame it is, how sad it is for people to die with their music still in them. What that meant for me was, what a shame to go through life and have a dream, something you really want to do, something you feel passionate about, but to never achieve that dream, or even worse, to never try to achieve it. What these videos are all about is taking a dream, something that you've always wanted to do, and making it come true. If you're like me, you probably worked very hard to get where you are today. You've set goals, you try to be a positive person, you do these things that everyone has told you to do, and yet there's still some part of you that isn't fulfilled. Maybe you don't have all the money you'd like to have. Maybe you're still looking for that real passionate romance in your life. Perhaps you'd like to wake up in the morning with more energy and more excitement about what's possible for you. Whatever it is for you that's not working yet, there's a reason why. The fact is, setting goals, thinking positively, doing affirmations, that doesn't work for everybody. Some people get great results. Other people will do all of that and they still struggle. Have you ever wondered why so many people have so much trouble getting what they truly want? There's more information available now than ever on how to be a success, attract money, set goals, lose weight, accumulate wealth, start a business on the internet, and follow your dreams. But something is missing. For example, in the last few years, millions of people have discovered the Law of Attraction through the movie The Secret. The Law of Attraction states that if you put your thoughts on what you want, like more money, then you will attract more money into your life. And yet, for every success story of someone waking up and finding their mailbox stuffed full of unexpected checks, or meeting their soulmate in the checkout line of the local supermarket, or getting fired from a job they hate only to find a better, higher paying job the next day, there are a dozen stories of people who have set goals, worked hard to be positive and attract what they want, and are still struggling to pay the bills, to lose weight, or to find that special someone to share their life with. The question I have is if the law of attraction is really a law, why doesn't it work for everyone? Why haven't you achieved all your goals yet? What does it take to have it all in life? Money, freedom, health, and peace? The answer to that question is in your own mind. You see, there are things going on in your mind that are preventing you from having everything you think you want. The fact is we all have roadblocks in our minds that are stopping us from getting the money, the health, the freedom that we're looking for. These roadblocks aren't in your conscious mind. They're not in your thoughts. No, the roadblocks are deeper. Here's one of the breakthroughs I learned from Stuart, something I've never heard of from anyone else in my 20 years of personal development. To successfully change your life, 
to attract what you want all the time, you need to create harmony between the four parts of your brain. Yes, you actually have four parts to your brain. Now, you've probably heard of your right brain and your left brain, but there's also the midbrain and the brainstem. And each of these does something different. They have different agendas. And if these four parts of your brain aren't playing nicely with each other, you'll struggle for the rest of your life trying to manifest your heart's desires, experience the lifestyle you really want. Before I explain why getting the four parts of your brain working in harmony is the key to success, wealth, and happiness in life, let's look at why most people think the law of attraction doesn't work. It's because they think there's a conflict between the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. If you've read any personal development books or listened to audio programs or gone to seminars, you've probably heard people talk about the unconscious mind. Some people talk about the unconscious mind as being the home of the self-image. The unconscious mind has a lot of jobs, like blinking your eyes, monitoring your environment for danger, worrying about your bills. It also has the job of keeping you in your comfort zone and keeping track of your beliefs. Now, when it comes to the law of attraction, or changing a habit, or setting goals, the unconscious mind plays a critical role. For example, someone who decides they want more money might start using positive thinking or affirmations with their conscious mind to say something like, I am now abundant. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. And where do you say that to yourself? You say that in your conscious mind. But then immediately, another voice inside your head says, uh, no it doesn't. You're in debt up to your eyeballs, you hate your job, and you're driving a 10-year-old car that's falling apart. Where's all this money you're talking about? See, that second voice is coming from your unconscious mind. Those negative, challenging ideas popped up without being asked. Do you see the conflict there? Your conscious mind, your thinking mind, is saying one thing. In this case, money flows easily to me. But the rest of your mind is saying something else. In fact, your unconscious mind is saying the opposite of what you're trying to attract. It's this internal conflict between what you want and what your unconscious mind believes you can have that stops your goals and your dreams dead in their tracks. In short, if there is something you're trying to achieve and you aren't achieving it, chances are your unconscious is in conflict with what you want consciously. Most people are giving themselves contradictory instructions like, I want to lose weight and I want that delicious piece of pie. These statements are pushing you in different directions. Basically, it comes down to this. How can the universe possibly bring you what you want if it's getting two conflicting instructions? Now, I probably haven't told you anything new up to this point. In fact, you've probably heard this all before. So what's different about what Stuart's doing? Everything else I've seen identifies the problem, but doesn't provide a reliable way to solve the problem, much less a reliable, proven way that solves it 100% of the time. Stuart does. Let me explain. Over the last eight years, 95% of the people who follow Stu's instructions achieve their seemingly impossible goals on the first try. Even more amazing is that for the past three years, that percentage has increased to 100% for people who are in Stuart's coaching group. Can you imagine what would happen if you could reach your goals 100% of the time? To understand why Stuart's techniques get results so spectacular they seem almost silly, and why the hundreds of other goal-setting programs out there are consistently hit or miss, imagine for a second that you're watching and listening to a string quartet playing a beautiful piece of music written by Mozart. In the quartet, you see four musicians. The first violinist, the second violinist, the viola player, and the cellist. The music is beautiful because all four musicians are in perfect harmony and playing at precisely the same rhythm. In short, they're all in sync with each other. Now, imagine that same string quartet, but this time, they have a serious problem. Each musician is reading from a completely different piece of music. So, what would they do when it comes time to play? They'd all play different melodies at a different rhythm, and their chances of being in harmony, slim to none. So you could be wondering, what does this have to do with Stewart's approach to attracting wealth, health, and prosperity? It's this. What Stewart discovered in his research is that, for all practical purposes, your brain is actually a quartet of four brains. A lot like a string quartet, or maybe the Beatles. The left brain is playing music guided by words and logic. The right brain uses patterns and pictures as its sheet music. The midbrain is all about emotion. And the brain stem is in control of physical stimulus and response. So let's say, for example, that you want to slim down and lose some weight. So you decide to go on a diet. Here's what happens. Your left brain makes the decision to lose weight. And, if you're lucky, 
At the same time, you've made some kind of a picture in your right brain. You've imagined a lighter, slimmer you. But don't count on losing any weight just yet. Because when you sit down at the table to eat and the mashed potatoes come around, even as your left brain is playing the brand new weight loss concerto and your right brain is trying hard to keep up, your midbrain, where the emotions are, is spinning a disc that plays the same old song, Do the Mashed Potato. That means your midbrain remembers the good, happy emotions associated with eating delicious, satisfying mashed potatoes. And the physical, action-producing brain stem is playing a song of its own as it remembers the pleasurable sensation of mashed potatoes in your mouth and that nice, familiar feeling of a big, full stomach. Suddenly, your left brain decision to go on a diet flies out the window. And instead of skipping the mashed potatoes like you had planned, you piled them on high and deep. And soon, you're asking for seconds. So that, in a nutshell, is the problem with most goal-setting programs and why the law of attraction often fails, even when you're consciously focused on what you want. It's why we slip back into old patterns, situations, and problems. Whether your goal is to lose weight, to make more money, or to achieve anything else, when two or more of the four parts of your brain are out of sync with what the first violin, or the left brain, wants them to play, the signal gets confused, the message is in conflict, the universe doesn't know what you really want, and so the goal or dream never becomes real. This happens simply because the other parts of your brain didn't understand the sheet music, or the goal, that the left brain wanted each of them to play. Remember, the left brain understands words and logic. The right brain understands images and pictures. The midbrain speaks the language of emotion, and the brainstem responds to and creates physical actions. So when you decided to go on a diet, even though you gave instructions in words to your left brain, and maybe your right brain, your midbrain and brainstem were still playing an old, deeply embedded song. They were looking at different music. And because emotions and feelings are so powerful in driving us to action, you end up ignoring the logic and pictures of your left brain decision to go on a diet, and instead, you take the action of eating more than you wanted to. When you reached out for the mashed potatoes, that was your unconscious mind overriding your conscious desire. This is an example of what Stu calls a blocker. Is this making sense to you? What this means is until you have all the parts of your brain in alignment, you're going to have to struggle and fight and use willpower to get anything new happening in your life. The good news is it also means that when you know how to get all four parts of your brain working in harmony, you become unstoppable. The moment all four parts of your brain become aligned is like discovering you've been driving your car for the last two years with the emergency brake stuck on. Now you release that brake, you feel the rush of movement, and you discover you're ready for anything. You experience this surge of energy. It's like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. All that emotional conflict burns up a lot of fuel and keeps you in emotional turmoil. Actions you used to put off become easy to do. You feel empowered, like you can achieve anything. Your confidence rises and the future feels bright and filled with hope. You wake up feeling excited about the day and there's a momentum that you carry with you. People seem to know that you're going places. It's an amazing feeling and I want you to experience it for yourself. Now sometimes when I talk to people about the unconscious mind and how that's where our beliefs and our blockers and our limitations are, they get a little concerned because it's like, well, what do I do about it? How do you change your unconscious mind? So instead of making you feel a little freaked out when you get a lot of money, it goes, hey, that's great, let's get even more money. And you feel really comfortable and relaxed. And that's where Stewart is a genius. He spent the last 50 years of his life dedicated to figuring out how to get the unconscious mind to work in harmony with the rest of us. And that's why when people work with Stuart and they go through his process, they end up reaching these incredible goals. They end up attracting tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. They end up losing weight effortlessly without dieting. If you can get every part of you to support your direction, that's when magic happens. Over the years, Stuart has perfected an easy to follow, step-by-step -step system for getting all four parts of your brain working together in harmony. He calls this process cybernetic transposition. Now, Stu is an engineer by training. In fact, he studied all five engineering disciplines at MIT at the same time. So the name is a mouthful, but the name isn't what's important. What counts are the seemingly miraculous results people experience over and over and over when they use cybernetic transposition. When Stu first started teaching this process, he kept track of the results of the first 50,000 people who went through this program. 85% of them achieved their goal on the very first try. Companies around the world, including IBM, IKEA, Volvo, and Ericsson, have paid Stu $25,000 a day to teach cybernetic transposition to their employees. 
And over the last three years, an astounding 100% of the people in his coaching program who follow his process achieve their seemingly impossible goals. It doesn't seem to matter whether you want more money, a new house, a better job, a fulfilling relationship, a dream come true, even a dream you once had but gave up on. The results are always the same when you follow his process, success. Here are a few examples of success from the hundreds that Stu has on file. Philip Fulton set a goal for $12,000 and ended up receiving $20,731 instead. Anna Kirali and her family found her perfect home within 24 hours of setting a goal to do so. Before she moved, trying to sleep was a nightmare. Now she sleeps like a baby. Donovan Watson set up the part-time manufacturing business he always wanted. Meanwhile, he kept the job he had and was pleasantly surprised to find he was getting a lot more respect and cooperation from his co-workers. Eve Drew met the love of her life even though her membership in the dating site where she met him was expired before they found each other online. Dana Johnson lost 20 pounds and told Stu, I didn't have to starve myself, I wasn't fighting cravings all the time, and I didn't have to kill myself in the gym. I've personally interviewed several of Stu's coaching students and they all tell me the same story. Their lives are radically changed. They now have the ability to set and achieve whatever goals they put their mind to. One of the interesting side effects of harmonizing the four parts of your brain using Stewart's cybernetic transposition is you also activate the almost unlimited power of the law of attraction in your life. Which means you aren't limited to reaching goals that seem reasonable. Instead, Stewart shows people how to set and reach goals and dreams that seem impossible. Cybernetic transposition harnesses the unique positive creative power of your brain in a way that no one else has ever been able to duplicate. That's why the people who apply this technique have experienced successes with a consistency that would not be explainable any other way. And why the people who have tried other, less reliable methods have so often given up in frustration. So if this has got your attention, if your gears are starting to spin and you're wondering how you can change your unconscious, how can you start changing inside to start attracting more of the abundance and the wealth and the joy and passion and excitement that you want in your life, then keep watching. In the next video, we're going to take this one step further and I'm going to show you one of the processes that Stu uses to help clear the path and make way for amazing things to happen in your life. Listen, I really appreciate you watching this video. What I'd love for you to do now is down below you'll see a comment form. I'd love for you to post your questions, your comments. Maybe tell me what dreams are you looking for? What are the three wishes you would ask for if that genie showed up in your life right now? I'd love to hear that. I'm going to read your comments and then in the next video, I'm going to take this all one step further and show you how to start making these dreams come true in your own life. Thanks again.